Coal, the most climate polluting of all fossil fuels. Four years ago, New Zealand was poised to develop new coal-fired power generation. Greenpeace didn't agree, nor did the residents in Ruakaka, a seaside town in Northland. Mighty River Power had proposed to refire Marsden Beyond Coal. This would have been New Zealand's first major coal-fired power station in over 25 years. It would have pumped millions of tonnes of carbon into the atmosphere and polluted the pristine waters of Bream Bay. Protest actions, community campaigning, court hearings and government pressure worked together and stopped the proposal. Recently, the Labour-led government and the Green Party banned new fossil fuel electricity generation for the next 10 years. Greenpeace's attention then moved to Huntley, New Zealand's biggest coal-fired power station. Early in 2007, Greenpeace released a report that showed how New Zealand could achieve a 100% renewable electricity supply by 2025. On the day of the report release, we took action to show coal belongs in the ground and not in our atmosphere, and that Huntley urgently needs to be phased out. The recent government announcement that 90% of our power will be generated from clean, renewable energy sources by 2025 shows they are well on the way to Greenpeace's target of a 100% renewable electricity supply. On the surface it sounds great, but dig a little deeper and what the government say they're doing on climate change and what they're actually achieving are two very different things. So Greenpeace recently set off with the Rainbow Warrior to target climate change and show what was missing in the government's policy. We're here in Littleton today, halfway through the national target climate change tour. We've had thousands of people on the ship from Auckland, Gisborne and Littleton learning about uh, climate change, what it means for New Zealand and how they can be a part of taking action to solve climate change. We're out and about on this tour because there has been a feeling in New Zealand like climate change is solved. This is far from the truth. It's still a really major issue and in fact things are getting worse here. So we've been talking to people and politicians and showing that we all need to play our part in reducing our emissions. The key way to do this is actually to put in place a target so we can guarantee our emissions start coming down. For New Zealand to play its part in avoiding the worst impacts of climate change, we need to reduce our emissions by 30% by 2020. Littleton also happens to be the largest coal export port in the country and at a time when we should be doing everything we can to reduce our emissions and solve climate change, there's actually plans afoot in New Zealand to expand the mining, burning and export of coal, one of the worst fossil fuels. On our last day in Littleton, we took action with the Rainbow Warrior and blocked a 60,000 tonne shipment of export coal bound for Europe. Hours before the coal ship, the Hellenic Sea, was due to depart, the New Zealand captain of the Rainbow Warrior moved the Greenpeace flagship into position and set two anchors, effectively blocking the larger coal ship from leaving port. This was the first time the Rainbow Warrior had ever been used to block another ship in New Zealand. Police arrived quickly and boarded the Rainbow Warrior, but three activists managed to slip over the side into a waiting inflatable boat and speed over to the Hellenic Sea. Once there, they climbed onto the hull, attached themselves to the ship and deployed a banner reading, Target Climate Change. A few hours later, the Rainbow Warrior was boarded by police and moved using tugboats. The three activists on the side of the coal ship were hosed down with high pressure hoses by the crew and then removed by police. Several hours later, the coal ship managed to leave port that Greenpeace had made its point and brought widespread attention to the double standards at play with climate policy in New Zealand. The New Zealand government must get serious on climate change and Greenpeace will continue to show New Zealanders the urgency of acting to reduce our emissions. The next stops on the Rainbow Warrior Target Climate Change Tour are Dunedin and Wellington, where free public tours, political meetings and Greenpeace supporter events will be held as we continue to raise the urgency of acting on climate change.